Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we entered the Subcon Forest. And in this part, well, and we finished Contractual Obligations, and we also unlocked both Queen Vanessa's Manor and one more I think, the Subcon Well. You automatically get Act 1 and Act 2, and you either get Queen Vanessa's Manor, Act 3, Act uh, 5, or I think Act 6 are all possible ones you can get. Um, from that first one we just did. In this one you can see we have got a new item that can clip two lanterns and such. So I'm looking forward to this item and it's one of those things that's required to actually um, finish up something even in Mafia Town as far back as there and it's gonna have benefits to um, even the Battle of Birds area. So we need to head up into that well So, it's pretty easy for us just to collect the pawns directly. Um, look around. Still by this nice house. Which, is that a treasure chest in the center of? Oh. No, but it is where this guy is. It's his mailbox that we saw. Alright, what did he say? You don't know where to go. You're supposed to be cleaning the well, kid. It's deep inside the swamp, but it's big enough even a tiny thing like you can't miss it. Try not to trip and hit your head at the bottom. All right, you heard him. Yeah, we're headed to through the poisonous swamp, I guess. Oh. So. For some reason, those arms affect us even when we're on a lily pad, from what I can tell. Ooh, can I catch that? No. That's, that's unfortunate. That would've been nice. So we're going to want to take a very um, specific route that's going to be using these platforms. Oh, that is one nice benefit. Um, I'm not going to show off here. Once you turn on the... Um, scooter, it's on for a while if you need it. Well, we're dead. Because it's going to keep pulling. Okay, really, game? We got to get back over here. And we're safe. Because once you turn on the scooter, it stays on until you jump or you hit area that you can't use the scooter on. I'm going to assume that we're probably taking the wrong way most of this time. And as such, let's switch our hat over to the Dweller's Mask. So we use it, it's this nice circle. Not going to do much to us from here though. Um, I say let's journey back up towards this way and see if we can find the path that um, uh, our ghostly employer showed us. Also, we can already see there's some more fireboxes. And we can also tell, yeah, it's not the best. I'm going to switch. I, I noticed on some of the older videos that the graphics really went bad. Uh, so I'm going to drop this back to here. Confirm, and let's exit out and see what it plays. So it's not going to be as nice graphics as it was before, but hopefully they're going to be stable and it's actually visible. Thank you, you two, talking in such a weird way that it works like that. Uh, that's the same thing that Dweller's Mask does. So they were mentioning that you can do this with certain bells, like this one. If we hit this bell, it's going to radiate out and we're going to start forming up these platforms. And, oh, our own has a slight issue. It, it radiates back out and very quickly is on its way back in. We're not making this trip. 
So it could, it's going to pull itself all the way in. And you can see already that those disappear the second that um, aura, I guess is the best way to phrase it. Oh, come on. Thanks, game. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm not the best at platforming. I recently got uh, Odyssey, so that's been uh, a fun lesson in platforming for me. Oh, we made it. We cheated. We used our hat, and even still, uh, it wasn't enough. Because, I mean, normally when you do this the first time, you're not going to have the hat. So, uh, it's really only to save you for, like, one step. You need to use this lantern. Uh, later in the game, you can get an item that will make it a lot easier to uh, have made it up here normally. I really just want to cut, but I mean, I don't, like, most of these levels have been too short to really warrant, even if I fail a few times cutting out too much, because, like, if this level only takes me eight minutes, we'll say, well, if I cut out the three minutes of failure, mm, um, then we're down to an eight minute video instead of a, an 11 one. I mean, that might be a little easier, but then I don't get to rant about how annoyed I am at this one. Odyssey, much, much more uh, relaxing controls, but I guess there isn't uh, disappearing platforms that want to. Um, this bucket is full of um, black paint, I guess, maybe? Is that what I can stand on? But we've entered the subcon well, much like the uh, Mafia's hideout area. It's a separate section in the area um, and gets its own loading screen. So we'll take it and this is our area. Our goal is, well, to clear the subcom well and we have now been locked into it. A very uh, deadly situation here. So if we pick up this, well, we can take a look around. What's going to be happening? We know we can pick this guy up, and we're just going to walk right into that, I guess works fine. What's this item? We get the hookshot badge. And look at that. There's a button we can use. Also, X allows us to oh, hookshot. Though, I thought um, it was going to be a little better than that. Oh, what's up there? So you have to remember to hold it, otherwise it'll want to kick you off. And also watch where you swing, because you might get caught on geometry. I get the feeling this well is going to be filled with a lot of failures, which is another reason I don't think it's the best plan for me to cut all of that out. Alright, did we get this yarn? We did. The Dweller Mask yarn, another one that was just happened to be in here. And from what we can see, there's not too much other range we can do in this area, in this well. I just tried to dash. I keep forgetting it's this button to dash, not the other way around. Not too much we can do to get past it. I think this button one won't bounce us high enough. Yeah. So we've got a start in the center here. It's, this is your training to how to use this. And we land nice and neat, right on the button. That was nice. Wrong way. So 
so we can get back into the well and, well, start our escape. Because if you would come in here first, you'd look around and go like, oh, there's nothing to do. However, if you hookshot that, it gives us a nice gust of air, as well as some water that is slowly filling up. Well, I say slowly filling up. It's not a threat yet. It'll get us there eventually, though. But it's designed to not be a threat yet. However, now that we're up here, it's going to be able to start quickly catching up to us. And we have a new path. We just have to swing our way back. But for some reason, no matter how slow you climb, it will always keep pace with you. So, if there's anything you see along the side of this area that you might want. Like, see? Oh no. But we can always hop back up onto here and get back. We don't have to worry about potentially being locked out. And because we can swim, even if it did overflow to a certain area, we can get back. And you can tell by the little bits of, I'm going to say, uh, spit that the spiders are dropping, that you will be able to uh, figure out where they're going to drop, like right here. So, if we hop off on the right side, you can get this rift token, and you can see the water actually leveled itself out for it. So, you're safe even if you drop for the rift token, and the water will not accelerate any higher. That's definitely a part I like. Um, it's a perfect area to train on like learning how to use this item. Because you can always make it back to safe land. It's not like it's lava where it's gonna be instant kill, or it's um, what's another what's another common thing? Uh, poison or anything like that. Something that's gonna permanently stop you from being able to do this part if you do it wrong. And break our path out. But this is see, it, it was that short of a level. So, we've gone, we've cleared the subcom well, and it got us our grappling hook. However, um, game? Say, it seems to have froze there. Blows a hole in the wall and starts filling things up. Cleaned it, the contract has been complete. And a timepiece seems to have been trapped in it as well. What are the odds? So, we've already broken this to get the item. And really, this is the only thing left. Let's grab it and continue on from there. We didn't get a new contract, so our next one is going to be uh, Queen Vanessa's Manor. We have to sit through a nice loading screen again. I think my computer's chugging a bit on trying to do the loading screen. Uh, I guess it's loading too quickly or too slowly for me. In any case, our next part will be that, part four of uh, Subcon Forest. Now that we've gotten our grappling hook, there is a lot we can go do in the home. We can probably finish up even the Battle of the Birds. But I figure let's do at least one or two more in Subcon first. All right, see you guys next time.